Hi, Cancer. Welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a Financial Abundance Tarot and Oracle card reading. All right, we are going to go past, present, future, and your advice. You've got some fantastic cards here right off the bat. I love fulfillment. That's one of my favorites in the whole deck. All right. All right, we'll use this as a clarifier. All right, and then we will consult the tarot. All right, in the past, you have the King of Pentacles, the Lovers, and the Queen of Swords. In the present, we've got the Three of Swords, the Hero or High Priestess, and Strength. In the future, you've got the Nine of Cups, the Eight of Cups, right together, boom. Eight, nine, and the Ace of Wands. So I feel like you have a new opportunity that's gonna bring in great meaning. Meaning, but also to your heart's desire. And your advice, you have the Hermit, the King of Wands, and the Empress. Well, I'm liking this. We have five major arcana. Is that right? Yes, we do. We have Virgo here. We have Gemini. Leo is here. And it appears we have all the elements. So we'll start off here with this that came fluttering out. The card of birth, universal energy, brings you opportunity and possibility. So there is no governor over your life. There are all kinds of opportunities, but it all begins with your energy body, with your feelings. And so allow those new opportunities to come in, allow your energy in some ways to be as unconditional as possible. When we're too tied to conditions, it causes us to kind of bob up and down. So you have the card of fulfillment, which I absolutely love with the energy of the key, new beginnings, directions, and adventures await for those ready to let go of the past. And again, that goes back to the feeling of being unconditional as much as we can stay there, even and unconditional, not tied to cir circumstances. So we're having all these big highs. I heard plunging highs and lows. And so in the past here, I feel like you may have had something that got off to a good start and got off course a bit with the King of Pentacles, the Lovers, and the Queen of Swords. Or if you had a situation that you turned down you had an opportunity that you said no to. You had choices here. With the energy of the lovers, you stand at a crossroads. You have choices. It's all about making choices from the heart. But with the queen of swords, she's a card. Of, she's a, an energy of intellect. She doesn't use a whole lot of heart. So I do feel like with this, if you made what you thought was the best choice from your head, but it continues to kind of push at you and you say, but my heart says a different story. My heart is calling me in a different direction. Even if it's a big career change where your heart keeps whispering the truth, I feel like you're going to have another swing at it. Another step, another shot to step right into something that really brings you passion, joy, and that feeling of fulfillment. That's what you're headed into. So if it was a career move that was based on money primarily, and you, or even in terms of getting a degree where you thought it was the best and most practical thing, I do feel like you have something here that's going to give you an opportunity to really use your creative mind, your creative heart. And I would also say with this, though, if it was a housing situation, if the timing didn't seem right and you felt like your dream wasn't within reach, where financially would have really stretched you. And so you made the practical choice and it hurt you and you felt like, God, did I do the right thing? I just keep feeling like there was a lot of second guessing after making a decision. I do feel like you have a second chance, okay, that, some, that you're going to have this come back around. So perhaps it was at the time the best decision you could have made. So in the current energy, you have the gateway coupled with goals. Progress is positive and personal goals will be achieved. 
So you have an opening, okay? You have that door opening, new doors opening, soaring to new heights, even soaring to heights that you didn't know were available to you. So now is not the time to limit yourself. Now is the time to sit in abundance, to know that people start from nothing all the time. There are some people who have incredible amounts of wealth who began it all with nothing. They began at zero. And you know what zero is? The field of infinite possibility. Okay, zero is important. Be okay with starting at zero. So in the past here, or in the present, pardon me, you have the three of swords with the high priestess and the strength. So I do feel like you've, you've weathered a storm here. Your patience, your persistence, and even the way that you've handled it will pay off because the high priestess is not a big reactive card. The high priestess can handle it. The high priestess sits on this cube, which represents your soul and all spirituality. So if you did have a job loss or you had something that created a real three of swords pain for you, where you continue to feel like it was a missed opportunity, the high priestess will tell you that anything can be made from the mind. You have a new cycle showing up. And with the energy of strength, you're coming out on the other side. I feel like you have better opportunities than were available to you before. So if you turn something away, there's a better opportunity waiting in the wings. And so with the energy of the high priestess, you analyze, you get yourself very, very clear about what you want. Trust your instincts, trust your spiritual guidance system, because it's all guiding you towards what you really deeply desire. Even sometimes, and I've had it happen in my life, trust me on this, where I was really had a strong desire and the way that I was led there, I couldn't believe. It's like you couldn't have taken a less difficult path than this universe. Now, of course, it was also me getting in the way, but with the energy of strength, I do feel like this is where you have that chance. This is where it says, look, you've overcome what seemed to be a bit of a curveball or even a course correction, but you're on the right path. You're on the path to making gains. So in the um, energy of the outcome or the future position, you have the card of solitude, which is so interesting with the card of the cracker. And so the cracker represents positive energy surrounding you, love, joy, and good fortune await. But it all begins with you. So calming your energy, quieting the mind. If you've been listening to a lot of spiritual messages and finding that it relaxes you and calms you down and really honing your meditation skills where you can absolutely evacuate your mind of thoughts or when a thought floats in you just to identify it as just a thought, it doesn't take over. It doesn't seem to consume you. I feel like you're going to be right on schedule here. So you do have a lucky break coming. And I love it that you had both the eight and the nine of cups here because that's not always, it's tough to do, okay? We have 78 cards here. So I feel like you're walking on. Now the, the card of the eight of cups, he wears that red robe of desire. He shows his his image is showing you walking on to something better. You're, what you're leaving behind is not particularly terrible, even if it was a delay, if it was a housing situation that was delayed, but you were able to continue in the situation you were in or even in the job, or even if it was a side hustle, something you've been trying to create and you found it didn't go the way you thought it was going to and you have to start again. The Ace of Wands is a big breath of fresh air. The Ace of Wands is a huge second wind, so you're ready. With the Ace of Wands, you will hit the ground running. These are cards of success, accomplishment. These are yes cards. This is the kind of energy where dreams come true, where you feel like everything is working out for you. And with the Nine of Cups, that's attainment, it's success. He's sitting there proud. He says, look at all my cups. Now, it can also be about hospitality. So if you are in the travel or hospitality business, or real estate of some sort. These are very strong indications of success, of positive changes coming in here. But really, in the end of it all, your ultimate fulfillment is here. Okay, that nine of cups embodies you, really feeling pleased and saying, it's better than I thought it could be. So let's see now on your advice. You have here, stand still with judgment. Soul searching will bring inner peace to many areas of your life. So we talked about this, didn't we? That feeling of spirituality, getting yourself into the place 
where you can even control your thoughts down to the, the moment where you can really navigate and be in that place of stillness and calm no matter what the conditions are around you. And it says it too with the hermit because the hermit is the energy of know thyself where you really have self-mastery. And so with the King of Wands, that's a go-getter's energy, but the Empress too represents luxury, success, fruitfulness, ideas, creativity, but you go for it. So it's almost like you set the stage and get yourself quieted down. You have the great ideas and the charisma and all that good stuff between these two, and you take that leap of faith and go for it. So really believe in yourself. And if it is something to do with the home too, the Empress is a wonderful card in terms of having a home that will leave you in the place of feeling like you have your own personal piece of paradise. So good things are on the way, Cancer. I love you and I'll be back again soon.